Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, and welcome to my show. My name is Sylvia, and on Facebook, I'm known as Jean Goodwin. I'm a part of a group. It's a Sister Locks group, and the name of that group is Sister Locks, Micro Locks, Cocktails and Conversation. And a few days ago, a young lady posted that it was really quiet in the Facebook group. That young lady is a YouTuber, and her name is Jean G. Please check out her channel. She has chosen me to interview her, and I'm going to call out the names of the people that asked the questions, and then... Jean G will answer your questions for you. The first person to ask the question was Tamika Dash. Let's go on with the show. Thank you, Miss Jean, for giving me the opportunity to do that slight wardrobe change. Thank you for your patience. Okay, Miss Jean, why did you get sister locks and did you do your research before you got them? That's what Tamika wants to know. Well, I chose sister locks. A long time ago several years ago before I even knew what it was there was a woman in our church I didn't know her but her hair was so pretty I didn't know her so I didn't even have the nerve to ask her what it was but I knew that's what I wanted so at some point while posting my loose natural hair videos on YouTube I saw sister locks not only that but a young lady in the church also decided she was going to get sister locks so I started doing my research I watched the videos I went to the sister lock website I read some information and I decided that sister locks was right for me in December of 2018, I contacted a consultant from the Sister Lock website. We scheduled an appointment for my first consultation. I ran into the lady at church and she said, I can tell you somebody that's really good that you should use. And the name that she gave me was Flo Davis. And that was the person that I'd already chosen to have my consultation with. I did not research any other kind of locks. My son had the traditional locks. And I really liked them for him. But not for me. I've since seen some other locks. And I like those as well. But I think I did make the right decision when I chose my sister locks. Jamie French Perkins wants to know what length your hair was before sister locks and she wants to know a little bit about your loctician, how many locks you have and do you know how to retie your own hair. Now before you answer that question I know you did a video and your consultant Flo was in that video. When I got started I had 8 to 10 inches of hair my husband measured my hair because I had to put that information on the website as a part of the questionnaire uh, that was there from my consultant. And I needed that information before the day of the consult. How, how many locks do I have? Oh, I'm not sure. Because my husband counted my locks. And he said I had 417. My granddaughter then counted my locks. And she said I had 413. So I'll say I have from 410 to 420 locks. I don't know how to retie my hair. The wonderful thing about this situation that we're in right now, if you can call it something wonderful, is that I got my hair retightened on March 24th and I think it was April 1st that the governor then closed down non-essential businesses 
like this a lot. Thank you, Miss Jean. Now, we have a limited amount of time for the show. And so, for the future questions, I'd like for you to try to curtail your answers a little bit so we can get all the questions answered before I Our time. next young lady says that she wants sister locks. And she likes having the long box braids. And what she wants to know is, do you miss having the versatility of your loose natural hair? Losing the versatility? No. I don't regret losing the versatility of my loose natural hair. I was a loose natural for 10 years. And now that I have sister locks, I can do a braid out. I can do a twist out. Just about anything that I could do with my loose natural hair, I can do with my sister locks. I can do an updo. I can style my hair an updo. There's just so much versatility with the sister locks. They're so small. I can do just about anything that I want to do with it. Though I prefer just to wear it down the way it is right now. Because I really wanted sister locks because of the way it looked. And then once I got the sister locks, I realized that it's exactly what I wanted. I can get up in the morning and I can go. My husband loves it because I'm not in the mirror as long. So no, I don't miss the versatility of my loose natural hair. I don't miss it at all. Okay, Miss Jean, our next question comes from Jamie French Perkins. I think this is like the second question from Jamie. And she wants to know, did you get negative feedback as a result of your sister locks from your family or from your friends? Have you dyed your locks before? And do you recommend any shampoos or tools? All right, Miss Jean, let's let's try to stick with the question. You know what? There were a few people when I told them that I was going to get sister locks that said to me that there were negative connotations that came with sister locks. The other one said, oh no, 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 no. You, your hair looks so good. You always can style it. You can do just about anything to your hair. No, no, no. Don't do that. Once I got the sister locks and they saw me and they saw the locks, the one lady said, oh, you wear it so well. It looks so good on you. And another one said, I didn't even know that that's what you were getting done to your hair. I had something else in mind. The most important person to me loves my locks and that's my husband. My children who don't live with me, they think my locks are beautiful. So no, I've had no negative feedback from anyone about my hair, not at all. And that was one of the questions that my consultant asked during my consultation was, did I expect any negative feedback from anyone? Because sometimes there are people that have experienced just that, but that has not been my experience. I've only gotten positive feedback in reference to my sister locks. I wanted to dye my hair. It was maybe about a few months after my sister locks were done because I colored my hair right before. And I always would color my hair to keep this gray at bay. But then my consultant advised me not to because it's a chemical. And she was telling me that it could alter my hair. As time went by, I realized by having conversations with her that she had dyed her hair and she had lost some inches as a result of it. At some point, I thought that I would dye my hair after a year of sister locks, but I've pretty much gotten used to the gray. On YouTube, I've seen where some people have commented and called me Silver Fox. I often talk to my children FaceTime because they live in other states. And they always express 
to me how much they like my hair. So I've gotten used to this gray and I'm okay with it. I did color it before, but I don't think I'll color it anymore. I don't use any tools on my hair. I only use my fingers. When I needed some shampoo at one point, my consultant did not have the Sister Lock shampoo available. So she recommended Design Essentials Aloe and Peppermint shampoo. And that may have been around my six months. Yeah, around six months after I got my Sister Lock. And I've been using that shampoo ever since. It has a tingling feeling and it makes my scalp feel really good. Every now and then when I feel a little bit of itching on my scalp, I shampoo my hair and then I'm okay. And the shampoo is just wonderful for my scalp. It just feels so good. It gives me this tingling, cool sensation and I really like it. I would recommend that, but I would say check with your consultant on anything that you're gonna use on your hair. Thank you, Ms. Beans, for the answer to that question. The next question comes from Audria Maria, the founder of the group. And she wants to know, what is your favorite thing about sister locks? Your favorite, favorite thing about having sister locks? I don't have to do much to my hair. Though sometimes I choose to do a little extra. I don't like flat hair. I like body and fullness. And my sister locks give me exactly that just enough body even when I wake up in the morning and I might miss it a little bit it gives me the body I want I just love my sister locks I love the way it looks I love the way it feels it's just awesome Miss Jean I totally agree with you your sister locks are awesome I like sister locks a lot myself the next question comes from Natalie Harmon Namako. I think that's how I pronounce that name. If not, please forgive me. And she wants to know how long before you were able to stop braiding and banding. Well, when it comes to braiding and banding, I haven't stopped. I'm still braiding and branding my hair. I had my one year lock anniversary on March 4th, 2020. And I still need to braid and band. The front of my hair is pretty much still a lot loose on the ends. The back I, where it's beginning to maybe lock, but it's not at the point where I should stop braiding and banding. So I'm still braiding and banding. Okay, Miss Jean, we're at our last question. Just when you were thanking everybody for the questions, Kiana Benton came in with a question. Her question is, what is your favorite essential oil? If I could say I had a favorite essential oil, it would be peppermint. Now, I don't have a favorite essential oil for my sister locks because I don't use oil on my sister locks. I have not used oil on my hair for 14 months. Because before I got sister locks, I was shampooing my hair with a clarifying shampoo, preparing my hair for when I would get sister locks. And I was told not to condition it, so I was wearing my little tiny fro and being excited about the time when my locks would be installed. But before my locks, I would seal in my moisture using coconut oil with a few drops of peppermint oil. And that's how I keep kept my hair moisturized. I would use the, the lock method. And the oil was there just to seal in my moisture. 